good evening. Um, still feeling a bit under the weather, but you know, you've got to get out when you can. Um, today I'm looking for a secret lake. Um, and I think you have to go down a quarry to get to it and there's a cave to get through to it. I think uh, right behind me over here is a gate and I'm pretty sure if I can get over that gate or through a gap, I'm sure there's a path that leads down there. So we're going to head that way now and uh, hope there's a gap in the fence to get through. Um, I remember going here over 20 years ago. Uh, but over the years, this place um, in Glen Ronway, I think it's called, Hamberis, uh, years ago they started building business parks here, but nothing ever came. So the whole place is just overgrown with trees, plants, all sorts of shit. So it's difficult to remember how I got there years ago. And right now, it doesn't look too good. I can't see a way in. And that's the way in. Right. flying a drone over there um, right I don't remember coming here and uh, there's a bit of a drop there so my guess is if you look behind me it's just a drop down here so I'm guessing going to take this path down here and be careful Well, um, this doesn't look like it's going, going anywhere, so I don't know what's around here. I'm just trying to follow this path. Um,
looks a pretty cool place, doesn't it? Uh, uh, this episode is going to be a bit more like an Indiana Jones type of adventure. Um, no idea where I'm going, but I'm just following the path. All path leads to somewhere. So they say. Right, I don't know if you can see behind me here. It's like a little door. A little door. Wait, in the mountain. But I don't think this is the cave I was looking at, but we'll go down here and take a look at this. So that's possibly the way in. There's so much water. Oh God, if I went in there, I'm gonna get wet feet. Damn it. Just gonna go along the edge here and see if there's another way around here. All right. So, this is the secret lake. Looks pretty amazing. Um, what I've decided here is to go with a panoramic shot first. Uh, one, two, three, four of about 12 images. So my first shot is going to be a panoramic of this. Right, with this shot, um, I'm at 1 30th of a second. I'm at F11, ISO 100. Uh, so I'm going to take a shot. One, two, three, four, and each. And there'll be three shots to each stitch sort of thing. So yeah, we'll go with a panoramic here. Then we'll head up on the rocks and uh, see if we can find anything over there. Right, so I've uh, come back on the rocks on this end and looking for a shot on this end over here. Now there's a wicked looking rock sticking up there, uh, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it in the shot. But I'm gonna take another panorama here of about, I don't know, 12 images and stitch them together and see how that works. And I think that'll be the final one here because I've got to find my way out of here. Um, so I'm glad I've got you. Uh, I've always wanted to find this place. 
uh, wasn't too hard. Uh, like I said, just follow the path. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, get on with this and head for the final shot. Right, this place is full of rubbish. I mean, people have come here and they've left all the beer cans here, barbecue stuff, swimming clothes. I mean, there's shit everywhere. Uh, people have just left them here, the lazy bastards. With this, uh, I'm just cleaning some of the shit up from around here. People just leave bottles and all sorts of crap here all the time. Too much. So what we're gonna do with this shot is have a nice shot here of the doorway into the cave. And hopefully by bracketing, we'll be able to just, uh, get some light on the inside and see the other end. So that would make an interesting shot. Um, I think with this, I think portrait would be the best for this, I think. Um, yeah, definitely. How much am I... I think that's going to make a... Quite an interesting shot, to be honest with you. Right, yeah. Should be able to. Right then. Taking images and vlogging is really difficult sometimes. Right. Um, idiot. Right, um, just go back to that. Shit. Right, ISO 100, F11.5. ISO 100, F11.5 of a second. Right, I'm going to overexpose that by two. Nice. And then they're exposed by two. And that should give me enough um, dynamic range on that one. So yeah, I think that'll be an interesting shot. That took everything out of me. Whew. Right then. Uh, glad I got you. Uh, it's a bit hard work with a bug, but it's done. So yeah, hopefully, I'll have got three exposure, three.
three compositions I will have three good images of them I hope so uh, that's that for now so if you like the video uh, please subscribe uh, thanks for watching and until next time bye